Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Christine. I'm a lawyer and I um, did a master's degree in psychology. I am a new mother to a baby of six months. His name is Alec. And I thought I'd film a video to show you all what you'll need for the first six months of having a baby. Um, of course, as we all know, every child is different and every baby has their own things and every mother will of course learn their baby. But I found these items really, really useful for me and I thought that maybe y'all could get some use out of these. So the first thing that I feel really, really helped me is a crib. Now here many people when I asked told me, you know, it's very inconvenient because you're nursing the baby through the night. So most mothers, they keep the baby on the bed only and just nurse them. But my baby for the first five months, he slept through the night. He would uh, sleep at around 12.31 and get up at 10 o'clock the next day. So that was really nice. And he would sleep in his crib. So I really like that because he's a very light sleeper, like any sound or movement, anything, even if you adjust the bed sheet off of him, he'd get up. So I didn't have the headache of, you know, uh, climbing into my bed really carefully because he was in his crib, it was separate, it was nice. So I would recommend a crib to everyone. The one that I have is a crib that you can rock, you can put on wheels and you can even put it on a stand. Then the next product that I feel was very convenient is a baby carrier. So I have this baby carrier right here. It's by the brand Infantino. Okay, I don't know how well you all can see it in the video, but I'll insert a clip of me using it. But this uh, uh, carrier was brought by my aunt from the US. It's very useful. My baby, like I said, is a light sleeper. And so I just wear him and he'd fall asleep. And I realized that, you know, he would fall asleep so much faster if I wore him in the carrier rather than if I, you know, rocked him or just tapped him to sleep. And this, of course, is a hands-free thing. You can do your work. So I would like clean or even cook sometimes with him in the carrier. Or most of the time, I would just put on some music and dance. Then it would be like a workout and I'm also putting the baby to sleep. So although this is from the US, there are a lot of more options that you can find here very easily, very affordable. I would recommend it to every mother. And of course, it takes a lot of weight off your back. So that is also a good thing. Then another thing that I have, which is very expensive. It is very expensive. But um, I feel it's really worth it, especially if you're a working mother. I'm not a working mother. I'm not a working anything, actually. I need to start working. But um, this is very nice. I bought it because I want to start working. And even if you just want to, you know, maybe stop breastfeeding without actually stopping breast milk, I think a pump is very good. It's a good idea. The pumps that I've tried here, like I tried one uh, by Baby Hug, I think. It was really, really horrible. I mean, the sizing is absolutely wrong. It really made me so... It was horrible. I had a complete negative association only around the pump. And I had to pump for the first week because my baby was in the NICU. But after that, I never looked at the pump again. This one I got from the US. It's so good. It's really good. It's a hands-free pump. You can just attach it in your bra and you can do whatever you want. You can wear it on the go. There's no wires. There's absolutely nothing. Then the next thing that I feel is very important is a baby bag. I'm sure everyone knows this. Everyone has a baby bag. But what I feel is the conventional baby bags that you get, at least I was given one, which is, you know, this long kind of traditional bag that I'm sure all our mothers used is a very baby looking thing with that foamy material that I found is just inconvenient because first of all, it's like one duffelish bag and uh, it takes up so much of space. You have to either hold it or put it on your shoulder and then you're trying to hold your baby. It's very inconvenient. This is not even a baby bag. My friend had given this to me, I think when I was 18 or 19 years old. It's just a bag. It's a handbag. I'm sorry, a backpack. And it's very convenient because I just put it on my back and I can hold my baby. It's very nice. Maybe if you have bottles and you take around that, you might need a bag that has those compartments, which again on Amazon, I've seen so many hand, um, backpack baby bags. I've even seen some where they open out into a crib, but I just feel like you don't need any of that. And then the next thing that I feel you need are clips. Now my baby is in that stage where he grabs onto anything that he can grasp and he will just pull it for the life of him. So clips are very, very useful. The next item I feel you need is a crib toy. So I got the script toy, I think it was from the brand Abracadabra. Um, initially when I got the toy, it was this, the one that I got is very, very nice looking. It's very cottage cory and I actually bought it more for me because I really liked it. But I didn't expect my baby to like it so much, but he loves the crypto. It has music and I put it on and he's just so engrossed and I put it on for him every day in the morning. When I go to brush, I leave him in his crib and I put on the uh, crypto for him and he just smiles as soon as the music starts. And this has, is not like a thing that he got fed up of also. I think I bought it for him when he was maybe one month or one and a half month. And it's a consistent thing that he just likes, you know, he's not fed up. It's, so it's very nice. 
then i would say um one thing that i felt was an essential and is might be controversial especially in india is pampers i used pampers for my baby since day 1 because he was in the nicu so he anyway started off with pampers only and uh, everyone says like you know the babies get rash it's not good and what i feel i found that you know the rash they grow out of it like they have it maybe for the first two days and then they grow out of the rash my baby was in the nicu so i didn't have to deal with the rash the rash was dealt with by the nurse and once they grow out of that rash that's it they are used to the pampers so i used diapers for my baby i didn't really use nappies maybe once a day i would put one nappy but that was very rarely you know only if you know whatever everyone was saying to me got to me and then i said oh shit what if what if he's not comfy what if this what if that but for the most part it was just diapers it really is very convenient um then to have to change nappies and then another thing that this was actually my mother in law's idea so she had this shoe rack that we sort of repurposed and used as a baby rack you know for all his clothes now this rack it does not have any uh, doors or anything it's just a rack a shoe rack so i put all his clothes all his um, wrappers whatever whatever the baby needs his uh, medicines everything on this rack now this was really nice because in the night or whenever you have to keep changing your baby or anything you might need like even burp clouds it's just there it's convenient you don't have to open anything i know this might sound very like what are you lazy can't you open a door but when you're a mother and there's a baby crying especially in the background i really don't know what happens to mothers but it's like i don't know a brain only stops functioning and all you want is the thing that the baby wants so yeah so i think some convenience is key when you're a new mother then another thing that i got for my room which is not exactly like a baby essential but also kind of is a dim light so initially now i just use the ac light to be honest you know the temperature shows that light only is enough for me i think to see my baby but initially when i had to keep looking at him cuz i would read so many things about sids online and then i would get carried away in the night i would just keep popping up and popping up to see if he's breathing is he alive is he okay is the baby on his head and so many things so the light was very useful because otherwise i'd have to put on my phone flashlight and look at his face and everything but having a small dim light on throughout the night was nice then another thing which um is extra it was given to me most of the things that i'm talking about were actually given to me but you know were things that i didn't know i would use so much um is a bassinet so i have an extra bassinet it's like a crib sort of bassinet which has a stand i keep it downstairs as a designated baby place i know you get like these cribs also i don't know what they called um it's like two bolsters and the baby just lies down in that and you place that where i want the sofa on the bed but this is a crib designated for him up and down i just like that cuz then when your baby sleeping you can just put him there and you know he's safe you don't have to worry you don't have to see if something has fallen off it's not going to fall it's a structured thing so i really really like that one thing that i feel i should have gotten you know was a car seat um i have a car seat but it's not the crib type sorry not the carry cot type and i could not use that basically for the first 5 months until my baby was big enough to at least hold his head so i should have got that i feel he would be more used to the car he would be sitting there carry so that might just be something for convenience that you can think about but yeah these are the things that i feel really helped make my life easier and made me slide and get you know accustomed to motherhood so much easily than if i didn't have these items so i hope you like this video i'll try to post videos on um saturday um subscribe to my channel if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give it a thumbs down <laughs> thank you for watching bye